Kevin Holland versus Jacare Souza. Now, what really happened in this fight? A shocking finish with strikes off his back. Kevin Holland puts the legend away. Like, really, only one person has done in the past. Gegard Musasi also knocked out Jacare Souza way back in the day off his back with an up kick. So Jacare has lost twice now due to strikes off the opponent's back. But this one is the craziest of all. Because, first of all, it's not a kick like Gegard threw it at Jacare. He hit him with a right hook off of his back. And naturally, you're not supposed to have this kind of power to hurt your opponent like that now this could be due to the fact that Jacare is over 40 years old and maybe his chin is a little bit shot but look at the way Kevin Holland throws the right hook and how it lands there is tremendous power in the way he threw this and this kind of power only comes naturally not everybody's gonna be able to throw punches off their back like this and knock out their opponent you don't have your legs under you you have no balance you have no foundation you have nothing to kick off to generate any kind of power it's literally all in the arm and all in the core and Kevin Holland is able to torque rapidly into his right hooks to knock out Jacare Souza which is insane now there was actually one right hook that started all of this off that stunned Jacare that the commentators didn't really talk about now there are a few things you got to point out in this one Jacare was defenseless he was more focusing on controlling the position by controlling the legs specifically the ankles not allow Kevin Holland to really maneuver around so he can eventually find a pathway to later on pass the guard also Jacare started responding to Kevin Holland so we all know Kevin Holland loves to talk trash in the middle of fights. He was talking to Jacare, and Jacare was talking back. Immediately before the first punch, you see Jacare talking to him. He starts nodding his head, and he looks very lax. He seemed to have no sense of danger in this position and gets caught clean by a right hook. But you can see Jacare's head whiplash, and he shells up in Kevin Holland's guard. Kevin Holland's constantly knee shielding to keep Jacare at a distance. In fact, in the correct distance for him to land punches on Jacare, and once he's able to push Jacare back due to Jacare losing balance, of how rocked he is Holland is keeping him at bay with one foot and he literally just throws another right hook as he's standing up this is even crazier because you have no power when you're doing this you naturally should not have power while you're trying to get up from your back he lands toward the temple and this pretty much puts the end to Jacare Souza Holland senses it and he finishes off Jacare in brutal fashion now this changes a lot about the ground game because if you're fighting guys like Kevin Holland or maybe other fighters Maybe Tony Ferguson is able to generate some kind of power like this because he throws a lot of strikes off his back. It changes the defense while you're on top of someone in their guard or potentially in any other position. You can now hold your hands down and only look to control the legs and control the feet so you can create a pathway to pass the guard later like Jacare is doing here. You're leaving yourself open for strikes. Notice both times he gets hit, he focuses on controlling the legs of Kevin Holland due to muscle memory instincts in order to control the position and look to eventually pass the guard like Jacare always does in his career. Now this isn't the first time we've seen someone knock out someone off their back. Of course we've seen Nico Price, Mohamed Khalidov, and KSW has like three knockouts in this similar fashion. Literally hooks off his back knocking out opponents. So it's not something new but this is a grand stage and now people are going to start attacking a little bit more and you're going to see more people discover their power by throwing strikes off of their back. There's definitely going to be fighters who are going to start practicing striking off their back because if you can knock out your opponent like this it's definitely worth training for it's definitely worth developing and changing the game a little bit more this is why mma is so exciting man things like this is why mma is always going to evolve always going to be more exciting the more we watch it because you never know what someone is going to pull off in a fight. Just insane, man. And all credit to Kevin Holland. He constantly went for submissions, tried to sweep. He was going after Jacare in Jacare's world. He was attacking him. He wasn't respecting him at all. And ultimately, he delivered with one of the best knockouts of the year. And now we have to get in that sixth fight, man. If he wants to break the record, he says he wants to come back next week. So he tied the record with five fights in one calendar year. If he fights next week, he could be the only fighter to have six fights in one calendar year and six wins in one calendar year so amazing performance by kevin holland he's absolutely a promising contender young blood that we need in this division and hopefully one day able to get out of sonya back down to 185 and we can have ourselves an amazing fight what's next for kevin holland i mean Defeating Jacare Souza is huge. He is ranked number 15, but this should shoot him up quite a bit in the middleweight division because before Jacare went up to 205, he was a top 10 fighter. So I would love to see Kevin Holland actually fight Derek Bronson would be very interesting. Or he could fight Jack Hermanson who's coming off a loss. Out of those two fights are amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you did, make sure to thumbs up, drop a comment, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.